Okay, hi, this is Paula. I'm uh, giving a talk today just from my point of view as a parent on our modern cognitive computing age and what I think parents need to do beyond school to make sure their kids succeed. So uh, hope, hope you enjoy it. Okay, so three months ago at a work conference, I heard a guy from IBM Watson get up and he spoke for an hour about all these insane ways that the cognitive computing age is gonna help transform society. For example, cancer re researchers finding DNA markers in days and months rather than years. And the first thing I thought of was my kids. Oh my gosh, what's it gonna be like in 10, 20 years for them? This is, this is somewhat of a shift. And what do they need in terms of schooling and learning so they're successful as grown-ups? So that's what I started having a look at. So we went out and I started doing some research and I found that you know jobs have always been replaced. We moved off the farms over 100 years ago. We've seen call center jobs disappear. But, but the new thing is that highly skilled jobs, now they're predicting that a lot of those are gonna be replaced by technology as well as manual labor type jobs. And really, does anyone believe that a college degree is all you need now to succeed as a grown up? A friend of mine, Terry Moore, put it this way after she got her higher degrees. I was educated, but I had no idea how to really thrive in uh, the real world. And I sort of felt the same way after my bachelor's degree in international relations. So there's more research too. McKinsey Global Institute, they're predicting millions, 45 millions in terms of higher skilled labor, um, a shortage of higher skilled labor. And then there's lots of workers out there, but they're unskilled and it's hard for them to find jobs. And I'd like my kids to have those skills that are in short supply. So just to, to narrow it down, these are, there's lots of sources out there, but these are some of the skills that the employers are saying uh, are needed that people don't have. You've got the tech skills, of course, but key ones are gonna be data analysis, critical thinking, problem solving. Um, and one, the way one person put it, people need to be able to, um, uh, figure things out rather than find things out. And schools, I think schools are too far behind for my kids. They're changing slowly. You've got Apple TVs instead of blackboards. You've got technology in the classroom, but what's being taught and how it's being taught isn't changing very much. This is a quote from Sal Khan from the Khan Academy. And he, he talks about how, you know, we have age cohorts in classrooms. We change every hour to a different subject. But all of that is old school. We don't really need it anymore. And it's not conducive to learning. So just, just to, um, to move on from anecdotal, maybe here's some stats for people that would prefer a bit more hard data. Uh, this is a survey that says fewer students are prepared for careers. This is according to employers. Uh, college professors are saying fewer students are prepared for college uh, than before, than 2004. So I think I think we do have some evidence there that school's not cutting it for what, what's needed in the future. And I, I'm not going to depend on that. I want to try to do stuff outside of school uh, for my kids, you know, 13 and 10 years old. So the good news is that the same world that has this conundrum in it has given us access to an insane number of resources and information. I mean, I can go online and find people much smarter than me, and that's what I've tried to do who have possible solutions. So the second half here is gonna be about what I, what I found, what I suggest. The first thing is you gotta assess each kid in terms of these skills. For example, I have one daughter who's a real people pleaser. Teachers adore her, I adore her, but I really wanna make sure that she's self-directed, that she knows her own mind, that she doesn't just follow instructions. Um, so I'm looking at opportunities for her to, to really grow as a leader. Once you know your kids, uh, once you've thought about what your kids might need, for these modern skills, then frankly, you know, you go online and there's thousands of, of insane resources, everything from Khan Academy to books like this one, which is one of my favorites, the homeschooler book, Destination Imagination is after school, uh, project-based learning. And project-based learning, I think, can be key. I have one daughter who just really got inspired seeing R2D2s at the Maker Fair, and we're building one. There's no kit, you, but there's a huge community online, and you can go online and figure out how to do that. And imagine, you know, if we get this done by the time she's 14. Uh, another point I wanted to make, after-school activities, I think you have to choose them deliberately 
based on skills. Don't just fill up their time, but, but think about what you want them to learn. We created a coding class after school because there wasn't one at Goleta Valley Junior High. Uh, Pilots has this insane leadership program that my son's going into. And people, I think you gotta tap into people you know. This is my sister and my son. We're sending my son up to Seattle this summer because he wants to be a game designer. She knows people at Xbox. Um, we're gonna, she's, he's gonna go up there and shadow people, um, grownups, and, and really find out what it's like to do that kind of thing. Lastly, you know, schools are changing and you're, you're seeing lots more project-based learning pop up. These are some sources I love and I think it's up to all of us to encourage the teachers, have conversations with them, um, you know, really encourage them to take this on and change as much as they can within the, the structure that they have. And lastly, there are some schools out there that are so amazing, um, so creative, taking on this challenge of changing K-12 education. And I'm talking with a fantastic teacher friend of mine too to see what we might do here in Santa Barbara to bring one of these uh, models to town. So lastly, you know, I hope if you have kids or if you have nephews or grandkids, go, what would you do for your kids? I think do something for them now. I, I really wouldn't encourage you not to depend on schooling to give them uh, everything they need for success. So love to hear your ideas and happy to talk with anyone about this more. Thank you.